I didn't see either. So, um, what we're going to be doing today is, well, I guess you can probably already tell. Hold on. Yeah, if you're wondering, these are my Bluetooth wireless headphones. Probably going to be wearing them. Ah, that's a lot better. I mean, I literally, like, when I put these things on, I cannot hear a single thing. So, just be aware of that. I'm going to set these down real quick. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're going to... I'm just going to show you all the guns I have, and I'm pretty sure I'm very sorry if my light is having issues, which of course I'm pretty sure the light is just being down, beaming down directly at my phone, so yeah, I can't see anything. But um, okay, so the first gun we have is this. This is called the Turbine from the Elite 2.0 series. This is a Nerf gun. And just be aware, this thing is full auto, and trust me, you want to hear how loud this thing is? Yeah. Yeah, that's how loud this thing is, and trust me, I do have some attachments for it, but not going to even bother to put them on, so. Okay, what's next? Oh, yes. We have this. Now, trust me, this gun looks small, like, on its own, but when you actually take out the magazine, this is how small the magazine is. It's how small it is, and it literally looks like a boot for some reason. This is how small this gun is, and it's really, really small. It's a really small pistol. It's an airsoft pistol. Yeah, I mean, trust me, never... I never understood why this thing was a thing. I was literally at Academy and found this. But trust me, if you ever want to get an airsoft gun, recommend going to Academy first. Check that place out first before you go onto Amazon. Recommend, um, um, go to Academy first. I recommend that place first before you go to Amazon. Because check Academy. If they don't have a gun that you don't, like, want, like, if they don't have a gun that you don't have, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, that was my chair. Um, then I recommend just buying a gun at Academy before you even go to Amazon because if they don't have a gun that you don't have at Academy, then try Amazon because I've actually seen some guns on there that are really good though. They have attachments and everything. And hold on, there's another thing I actually do have. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, you can even buy BBs that have 10,000 rounds in them. Yeah, 10,000. And it literally shows it on the label right there. I'm pretty sure it's backwards for some reason because while I'm looking at the camera, it is backwards. I'm pretty sure whenever I'm pretty sure I'm finished with this video, it should be the same. So, I mean, I guess you understand. Yeah, I've wasted half of this. And I actually have another one that's right in the back. Hold on. So setting this one down on the ground and then I have another one right over here yeah this is another one that I have I literally have like two of them yeah I have literally two of these things and trust me don't think that this is overkill I literally have this because I like shooting airsoft guns well preferably my airsoft guns if you want BBs from like for your airsoft guns Recommend checking out Amazon, and I have both of these. Trust me, get these from either Amazon or Academy. Trust me, buy them from either one. They'll have the same exact thing, but still. But yeah. Um, so. What else? Oh, yeah. Here we go. A brand new airsoft gun. I actually got this a couple days ago. And yes, you may say, well, this looks like a normal airsoft gun. Tell me what's normal about this. Just look on the inside of that. Tell me what's normal about that. Yeah, you may say that's just a random thing for it. Look at the magazine. Does that look normal at all to you? No, this is batteries. There's literally batteries in this. So which means... And of course, the smarter thing they did was literally put a little hole right there 
with a little charging port in it so basically you can charge the magazine <laughs> for some reason the batteries are inside the magazine so make sure you do that and also the bb's are fed through right there there's literally a thing that goes on hold on where is it where is it oh right over here this is what goes on it this is an optic it, and the optic is horrible trust me just take a look at that you can't even see my face through it because look how hideous it looks yeah that's how hideous this site is i don't even recommend putting the site on instead like you can probably tape a site to the top of this and trust me it'd probably work but who knows i just seriously don't understand what um i was going for or what they were going for technically and also this has a suppressor that you can put on and take it off it's actually very fun it's a lot more quieter with the suppressor on <laughs> Not trying to compare it. I'm not saying that's trying to compare it to real life. With real life, the suppressors in real life are actually very, very silent. So basically, technically, if you're going for stealth-wise, don't buy this. Because technically, you're probably going to waste all your ammo very fast. Because, like, the BBs are fed through right here. The BBs are fed through right here. The batteries are fed through right here. Well, actually, they're... They're not the batteries are not fed through right here they're the batteries are inside this so the bbs are fed directly right here down into the barrel which of course that could probably cause jamming but i don't really see it possibly and also i may say this stock must be removable it is and honestly i think it just looks kind of cursed without any of the attachments on I mean, I can literally take this thing off and just put it back on because, um, hold on. Just put the attachments right there. It even comes with a foregrip. Yeah, you can take this off and I have no idea why. And also, I have a broken gun. I This magazine is broken. My other airsoft gun that's right over there. It's right, hold on. I don't know if you can see it or not. Hold on. Let me just tilt it this way. Yeah, that's half of my area right there. That's half of the areas where the Nerf guns and airsoft guns probably lay down at, so. Yeah. Trying to put the tripod back in place. But yeah, and somehow this thing even fits into the gun. Some of it's, but hold on, watch this. You can somehow do an AK reload with it. And I have no idea how. And no idea why. But trust me, do not even get me started. Because this magazine, I use this for my reloads. See this? That's where the BBs were fed through. This magazine no won't even work anymore. And of course, since it's broken, I have tape put on it. And that's electric tape. Really good tape. I actually recommend you buy it. If you have anything broken with it, use Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Tape. They actually have that and electric tape or scotch tape whatever you want to use but just trust me buy some really good tape okay i'm getting off topic so what else oh yeah here we go this is a airsoft gun i got for my birthday and this thing is very fun the magazine it's normal bbs are fed through right here but um every time i put the bbs in I have to actually crank this. I had to crank this. Like, it says 150 times. Once you crank that, all the BBs are loaded because there's a spring in there. There's a spring in this that the... This, hold on. So once you put the BBs in, the BBs go in right there. You just have to dump all the BBs in there. Dump about, like, 90 BBs in there and it should be good. And then you close this back up. And then after that, to load the BBs, you do this. You have to constantly keep on doing this. You have to do that 150 times. So the spring is so, like, how would I say it? Um, compressed. And that means whenever you, like, hold on. This thing has a semi-auto mode and a full auto mode. This right here, I don't know if you can see it, but... I move that, move this little pin right here, and it goes over to semi-auto. 
move it one more time it's on full auto and trust me this thing shoots fast but the amount of times you're probably gonna have a jam with this is probably pretty low this thing shoots extremely fast and of course this is a little accessory i found on one of my guns it's on like it's in the back over there i don't know where it's at it's somewhere but also these are detachable so hold on i can detach this there we go yeah just look at the difference look at look at the barrel though look how cool the barrel looks without this it feels really like weird holding the gun like this without those little attachments on it for it so I will say that this is a very good gun. I recommend you buy this. It's at Academy. And you can even find it like on... Um, I think you can find this at Amazon. I don't know. But yeah. And also you may say, can you take off the stock? No, you can't take off the stock. But you can collapse the stock. Because the stock is like taken off for shipping purposes. But... When you put this thing on, you can't take it off because, hold on, let me show you, hold on. That's the battery tray. This is the battery area. To access it, you actually have to break open this thing right here. Hold on, let me show you. Now I've got to put this back on. One moment, please. Literally, how do I put this thing back on? Oh my gosh. Finally. So you have to randomly just like hit it like this. I'm not gonna hit it like really hard because that thing would just fly across my room. So trust me, don't ever do that. But this stock is collapsible and it's also adjustable. Trust me. This thing is really fun to use and it works just like an actual AR. I actually had to change the sights on this and hold on the sights right over here somewhere. If I can find them. Oh, yep, here they are. Yeah, these were the sights. This was the sight that I had on it, but I got rid of it because I just, I just didn't really like it that much. Yeah, I didn't like this sight at all. I mean, just look how small this sight is. I don't really recommend, like, getting this gun unless if you have a sight for it to change it with or an optic. Trust me, I recommend that, so. And we're halfway done. This is, I'm pretty sure, the last gun on our list. Hold on. Not on the list, but hold on. What are the guns do that? Oh. Well, I guess we have another gun. This is called the Ultra Faro. This thing is probably my favorite sniper. This one has probably the most horrendous sights. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Yeah, those are the sights right there. And trust me, they're, hor they're literally hideous. This thing actually is probably the coolest like bolts thing right here so hold on it's really smooth this is a 10 round clear mag one side is clear one side isn't you have a little access door right here not sure you're ever going to be using it though since i've never had a jam with this thing i've never had a jam or malfunction with this so yeah this is very good i recommend you buying this I think this only costs, I think, about, like, I think around um, 30 to $40 about, like, at Target. If it's on, it's if it has a discount, that's going to be probably cheaper. Recommend going to Target and buying this. Walmart, don't really recommend because Walmart, I don't think, I don't go to Walmart as much. So, I really can't tell you how good it is. So, yeah. And, yeah. So... This is going to be it for today, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. But, um, hold on, we actually have a little shout-out to give, too, and...
This is to one of my friends. Go check out their channel. I will probably link it in the description. Um, I recommend you go check out this Roblox channel. I actually recommend it. It's one of my friends. I will link it in the description of this video. Um, just go check out the YouTube channel. It's called Bella Plays Games. Um, trust me, it is really good actually. I've actually been on, I've actually looked at the um, channel before and it's actually really good, trust me. You actually have to go look at it for yourselves and it's really good and that's a quick shout out to Bella Plays Games, trust me. Um, I will do another shout out soon, so um, that's whoever is in the comments that wants me to give them a shout out. I'll probably have like a little list of shout outs just going directly down to the bottom of the screen to the point where I can't see it anymore. So, I mean, well, I hope you all have a great day and see you in the next video.